Hello there, I'm another Magento Dev. In this video, we're gonna do something a bit different, but only because yesterday I did a live stream, obviously, um, the, I don't rehearse them or anything like that, and I don't really even do much research. I kinda just dive in there. Um, and I, I made a bit of a mess of a, of a Nuxt uh, app install, a Nuxt 2 install. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this video just to set the record straight. I do know how to install Nux 2 with Tailwind. Um but there's a there's a there's a there's a good bit of information in this video because the Nux Create app um for Nux 2 if that's the you know that's your preferred uh, version of Nux that you want to use and you're trying to get started with it and you're trying to use Tailwind well there's a bit of an issue with it and I'm going to show you what the issue is and I'm going to show you how to get around it as well. Okay, so where do we start? Well, the best thing to do is bring up the uh, the docs of what you're going to need. So the, the goal of this is to get a local version of Nuxt to span up uh, and, um, and and integrated with with Tailwind, so you can just hit the ground running and crack on with your with with scaffolding out your your application. Uh, why Nuxt two? Isn't that a bit out of date? Well. I still believe firmly as a as a as a seasoned developer that you've got to go if you're going to ship a production app or if you're going to ship a production website you've got to go with the most stable version and for me Nux three isn't stable enough yet um, and Nux two I think my my feeling is I don't know whether it's just my experience but I, the learning curve if if you're a beginner and that's what this channel's about and that's what this video is about it, you know if you're finding this as a magento dev as a lamp dev as a as a wordpress dev as a php developer and you want to dabble in in jamstack and you want to dabble in a new framework view is definitely the framework to do it nuxt is definitely the wrapper of that framework to do it in if you want a little bit of if you want some guardrails and comfort and then therefore i'd say nuxt 2 is definitely the the overall is what you want to be shooting for to get used to it. Get used to it, then I believe uh, get onto Nux Free because um, the, the, some of the concepts in Nux Free I think are a little bit um, abstract if you're coming over from a PHP background. That's just my opinion. Anyway, let's crack on. So we need the Tailwind docs, and I tell you what, do this. <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? And I mean, obviously, I'm putting a video together, which is basically this. Um, but um, <laughs> but it, some people just like watching someone do it before they ever go. Like this is the one that you want. Like yesterday in my live stream, as I mentioned, I just like went ahead and started into. It was all part of this grander vision I had for the for the live stream, and I was chatting away about all sorts of stuff, and I thought, oh, I'll just spin up a Nook Stap with Tailwind just to show, give you an idea how to get started, and, uh, well, I ballsed it up. Um, but I, I didn't balls it up, I was, there, there is an issue with it. So, right, here we go. What we're doing, so we want to spin up a Nook Stap too, so we'll go, we'll find the, uh, we'll find the Nook Stocks for, for getting that up and running. But it's fairly, uh, so obviously it comes up with, with your Nux 2 dots. Let's get started. Um, and this is the one that we wanna that we wanna run, right? Nux to create Nux app. This the reason we're using this and the reason there's an issue with it is because there's a wizard, right? And the wizard, like it, it, it comes with it comes with a problem, right? And I'll show you what that is now. So first of all, navigate to the directory where you keep your stuff. Um, man is sites. And then you basically just paste in this command and then you name it. So I'm gonna call it um, YouTube Tutorial, why not? Um, and then we get into it, right? So it starts pulling the dependencies and stuff. Obviously Magento developers, you'll know this from, this is a similar concept to Composer uh, when you're installing Magento. So hopefully you feel familiar with it. Um, YouTube tutorial is what we're calling it. I'm gonna go with JavaScript for this, but obviously TypeScript is a la mode at the moment. Um, Yarn, because I prefer it. Right, this is what catches you out, right? So there's all these frameworks to, pro to, to, to choose from, right? And I always, whenever I'm throwing something up, I always go with ta Tailwind. Um, 
I, I could show you some really good stuff with Tailwind. In fact, I'm gonna I, I might do some uh, videos to to sort of outline how we've used it on some of our recent uh, web applications, proper web applications. Because one of my dev uh, colleagues has come up with a I don't know if you come up with it, but the basically the the application of Tailwind in the application that we've built is um, it's genius. It's is, and I'll, I'll, I'm you know stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you want to see that uh, content. So. It's when you go for Tailwind as being like the the installed package, and what that does is it goes for and gets Nuxt Tailwind and pulls it in, and it also does some other stuff. And I'm gonna and this is the problem. So basically, I'm doing this to show you don't do that, right? Don't do that. And I'm gonna run one after this where I don't do that, and I'm gonna show you the difference. So we'll go with Progressive Web App because that's probably what we're gonna do. And I'm not gonna have any linting tools because I think they're bullshit. And then non. SSR, SSG, which I've talked about. If you want a more, more detailed run through of this, by the way, check out my live stream from yesterday. So it was a live stream about uh, Nuxt. It'll be up there on my channel somewhere. Uh, Magento, it was called, um, can a Magento developer read skill as a JavaScript developer? Something like that. Um, you'll find it. Uh, if we go for static, because let's face it, it's the simplest and most accessible way to get started with with this type of framework, and we'll go for a, a, a JS config because I'm using VS Code, and then standard Git setup, um, and it's going to install all my packages now. Um, obviously, this is similar to another another video that I've done on my channel where I installed a I run through the install of uh, View Storefront and View Storefront for Magento is built in Nuxt as well, Nuxt 2. So it's, um, it's, it's, I don't know what, I, I mean, they've gone for Nuxt for a reason with Magento 2, aren't they? Uh, for View Storefront, and them guys know what they're doing. I'm, I'm a big advocate for this framework, Nuxt. I really am. I, I, I really, uh, I, I really don't find it lacking in many areas. Um, and I, I, I think I, I like its I like its simplicity. I like I like its I like the trade-off between its simplicity and its rigidity. And what I mean by that is it don't give you too much control. It gives you just enough control and a really nice file system that looks familiar to a PHP developer or a, or a PHP not just a PHP developer because obviously I know there's frameworks out there that don't have much structure uh, but things like a Magento or WordPress developer where you feel comfort in your themes and comfort in certain certain types of folder structures and Nux has that and you'll feel comfortable quite quickly with it is what I'd say. Okay, so I'm gonna CD into my YouTube uh, tutorial directory and now I'm gonna do what it tells me, right? I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna yarn dev because everything should be installed and this should just work for me. But it doesn't. Look at that, it doesn't, and this is what happened on my live stream and I had egg on my face, right? And it's to do, obviously, with these packages and it's to do with, I don't know why it does it, cause I haven't looked into why it does it, because I don't look in for the whys, I don't try and find out why, I just try and find out how to fix it and what the workaround might be. So I tried messing about with the different versions of this, the different versions of that. I tried setting up Tailwind properly, you know, with the actual install, um, with, with um, you know, auto prefixer and all the stuff that you do in your Tailwind install, if you're familiar with Tailwind, all this type of stuff, which I'm gonna run through in a second. I did it all with this setup and um, no joy, no joy. So I would say at this point, if you're finding my video on YouTube because you've got this error, because I'm gonna put it in the description, um, at this point, sack this off, start again, right? So with that in mind, I'm just gonna move that out of the way and I'm gonna do exactly that, I'm gonna start again. Right, so I'm gonna navigate. This is the beauty of this type of thing, like it takes seconds to, to minutes to, to throw it up, see where you're at with it. Um, and you can always throw up another one. Um, right, so this time I'm gonna do uh, Nuts Create App YouTube Tutorial, tutorial. Uh, tailwind, um, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this one into my file system, and I'm gonna take a different approach, right? This is gonna be the same. This is gonna be the same. Same. I'm gonna go for none, no framework, nada, right? And then I'm gonna go progressive web app again. Nah, nope. Yes. Um, slow these down obviously, play me in slow motion if you need to know this, but it's the same as last time, static, jamstack, um, 
Next.js config and away we go again, right? So it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna pull down basically all the packages I need now, except the uh, the Nux one. And I'm gonna bring this up in VS Code, the old one, I'm doing it off screen. And I'm gonna bring this one up in VS Code. So this is the one I've just installed. And you can see the packages it's pulled in, look. Um, this is the one I've just installed in it. Now what's this, what's this, what's this? Let's just, so. YouTube tutorial, right? YouTube tutorials, Tailwind. I'll just get these side by side. So I'm going to CD into YouTube tutorial, Tailwind. Um, yeah, 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 right. I'll, I'll go into this. I'll go into this in a sec. Right, and, and I'm going to just, um, well, first of all, I'm going to spin it up, right? So it sh I should be able to just spin this up, right? It's got nothing. Oh spell that right it should just kick in yeah because there's nothing nothing stopping it nux 2.16 is absolutely bob on it's, it's you know it works there's nothing wrong with that that isn't what the problem was right i'm just going to kill that and i'm going to open it up in vs code which is opened up on the other screen right so this is the one i've just installed um and this is the one that i installed that was incorrect okay so what is the differences between the vanilla one? Well, it was the Tailwind install, wasn't it? But it was this package here that it installed, or these dev dependencies that it installs, right? It, it just, it wasn't having it for whatever reason. Now, it honestly, pop in the comments if you know the reason why this didn't happen and if there's a better way around it. But personally, I would rather it set up Tailwind in Nuxt the following way. Having done it and having had problems with this, and then done it this other way, it just feels better anyway. And obviously those people who are watching this video who um, who can care are going, duh, why didn't you just do that in the first place anyway? And obviously it, it's so obvious once you're, uh, once you're in it. So how do we get Tailwind into, so we'll sack this off. How do we get Tailwind into our app, into our version what works, right? How do we do that? Well, let's get a terminal up in VS Code. And then what we'll do is, follow the docs right so install tailwind css and nuxt obviously we've done that part of it um and then we'll do this part so we'll start here we'll jump in and i'm just going to go through this i'm going to show you what happens in all the different places and, and show you how to do this in sort of you know real time so i'm going to do yarn add and i'm going to add tailwind first of all and it's going to go away and this is going to get crucially tailwind not nux tailwind right so nux tailwind is its own thing of its own. it's obviously a fork of tailwind but it's its own thing so this is installed post css just the same um auto prefixer um etc and that that's in there now but there's more setup to do so don't stop there next thing to do is to add the tailwind config file you see by the way like you you might say to me well you forgot to you didn't do that in the last one and that's why it didn't work now even doing that it don't work right so even doing all this it don't work so i'm going to mpx that and what does that do it puts this file in your file system i'm just going to make this a little bit smaller since i'm only using using that and i'm just going to rearrange these for a sec hang on rearrange these for a sec okay um just move this in a bit right there we go that's nicer so we have got here now the next part which is part of the nuxt config so here's another big player in in part of your setup it's your nuxt config file and this is your nuxt tool config file and it's saying we need the post css setup again did this didn't work um here so we're just going to whack in this build section there um, and then we're going to add some bits what are specific to Nuxt um, into our Tailwind config. And this is basically the boilerplate for Tailwind config. I'm going to save that. And then the next thing to do is in your default Nuxt app, it doesn't have an assets folder. So you need to create one. You need to create assets, CSS. And then in here, you need to add in the Nuxt sort of um, what they're called. The, sorry, the Tailwind dependencies, base, components, and utilities. Okay, 
So we need to call this file main.css and we need to add in these and save it. And then you need to reference it in your Nux config file. So we'll jump back into our Nux config file and it's asking for your global CSS here because we want to call that file globally because it's our global tailwind stuff right and then we can also test it's working so I'll come back to this but let's see if we can actually run our dev server now yeah no bother it's gonna build out I'm gonna go to it in the browser there we go so there's our dev server our Nux dev server all great working and just to see um, if Tailwind is working. I'm just gonna go to the which one shall I go to? Oh, that's a bit bloated, isn't it? Most of this you throw out anyway. Most of this you throw out. Uh, but let's just test it above the Nux logo by throwing in that code that it, oh, that it said. So it gives you a component to start with. But we'll just throw this in, and we should see uh, uh, in Nux you need a, a wrapper. Sorry about that, guys. We need a wrapper in here. Should auto reload. And it auto reloaded. Oh. For some reason it didn't auto reload. Hang on. Am I in the wrong file or something? Let's try that again. Just try throwing this in here. Um, well, that's caught me out, as things often do. But I show you what's and all, always. Authenticity. There we go. Right. Fuck Christ knows what's going on there. So, so anyway, you're going to be deleting this stuff anyway. And tutorial is called here. Yeah, I, I assumed Nux logo was called in tutorial, but I didn't check it. And I'm not sure you could rewind the video and see if it was. But let's have a check. Looks to me. There we go. These are Tailwind classes. Lovely. And then you've got your dev flow. You're away. You can use Tailwind for... Um, Center. There we go. It's all it's all working. Auto reload, and you're away. You're away, right? A um, couple of extra little tips for staying to the end because you're my best people, the people who who, uh, who stay to the end. So if you're starting on this journey of of Nuxt, um, and you're coming over from other frameworks, you know, or other uh, platforms, even or complete other stacks like PHP stack, get the view. Uh, browser extension so you can just sort of uh, search for that and you'll find it browser extension for I use brave which is Chrome and you can get it in Chrome you can get it in uh, Firefox in Firefox though it does this weird reload thing right so be aware of that and that's a bit annoying like you could have something open and in Firefox it like fucking reloads for some reason but the one in Chrome ugh, I hate seeing Chrome works okay Um use it in brave because then at least that's not Chrome Um also, you, the other thing you need, and you noticed it there, as I start typing, I get my Tailwind classes here, look, right? Two things you need for that. One is you need to have a Tailwind config JS, which you're gonna have if you follow my tutorial anyway. Two, you need to have the browser extension called, uh, I think it's Vitor. That's browser extension, did I say? Um, a VS Code extension. View tooling for VS Code, and that gives you the um, as far as I remember, that gives you. Let's just have a quick look. The auto auto sort of predictive um, classes, which are mad useful for for Tailwind. Look, it's just so much easier to um, and if you start doing that, like border colors, like it's literally got everything in it. it it's it's so, it's so speeds you up so much. Um, you know, padding, and then you can like just have a look at all the different types of padding because obviously it misses some digits out at certain certain ones. Um, 
it's just marvellous what a way to work great stuff thanks for staying to the end like and subscribe uh, to this video because I tell you to um, and if you like this type of content obviously pop a comment in there let me know and I'll uh, I'll do more like this um, and yeah have a good rest of your day and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you in the next one